Hey Vsauce, Joey here. Final Fantasy VII is one of the most popular video games of all time, and in this iconic artwork, the hero, Cloud, looks on at a Mako reactor as he prepares to unleash all manner of kaboom on it. It's meant to instill a sense of excitement and badassery, but to the nitpicker's mind it provokes a question. Is it possible to even fight with a sword that ridiculously big? Let's break this down with some analysis. First, how large is Cloud's buster sword, really? Well, if you use the official artwork as a guide, you'll see that the sword itself is just a little bit taller than Cloud, with the blade coming up to armpit level. Luckily, there's all sorts of information on Final Fantasy characters that sane people wouldn't care about. Thus, we know that Cloud's official height is 5 feet 7 inches. We'll assume that's to the top of his head and not his cowlick. Extrapolating, we can see that the sword is a little over 70 inches tall, with the blade extending 54 inches long and 10 inches wide. Thickness is trickier to determine, but again, looking at official artwork, we're given the impression that the blade is between one half and one inches thick. How realistic is this? Well, compared to some other famous video game weapons, it's predictably massive. The Master Sword from the Legend of Zelda series is around 42 inches long, and the Mighty Soul Edge from Soul Calibur tops out at 55 inches. But let's take a look at the largest real swords ever used in combat. The Scottish Claymore, like the kind used in Braveheart, was only about 55 inches long, while the Japanese Odachi, literally big sword, was typically between 65 and 70 inches. However, some European two-handed greatswords, such as the Doppelhander or Bidenhander, could be over 78 inches long, which makes the Buster Sword's 70.5 inches downright reasonable in comparison. Width is another matter, as you'd expect. Normally, such large medieval swords were only two inches wide at best, one-fifth the size of Cloud's weapon, and without a hilt for counterbalance, weight distribution could be an issue. Now we're getting somewhere. The sword might not be too long after all, but if you can't pick it up, it's still useless. So, how much does it weigh? Compared with real-life swords, a one-pound handle is a reasonable guess here. Then multiply the dimensions of the blade to find volume. Using a standard metal like high carbon steel would make the sword weigh upwards of 60 pounds, assuming it's solid throughout. But some swords have been known to be made out of a zinc aluminum alloy that could cut the weight by over 60%. A 20 pound sword may not be easy to wield, but it'll cleave meat just fine. That's the equivalent of taking a rather fat cat, sticking him on the end of a five foot pole and then fending off enemies with him at nauseum. An exhausting proposition to be sure, but not impossible. Now, despite what you may have heard about medieval swords, even the largest ones weren't all that heavy. According to John Clements of the Association for Renaissance Martial Arts, rarely did the two-handed greatswords used by elite Swiss and German infantrymen weigh in over eight pounds. And though there are historical artifacts from this period that weigh up to 14 pounds or so, those are generally thought to be ceremonial only and not intended for combat. And it's all a matter of perspective, of course. At 5 feet 7 inches, Cloud's somewhat petite, but if he were, say, the height of Shaquille O'Neal, then his sword wouldn't look very strange at all. So despite the unrealistic appearance, it's actually plausible that you could use Cloud's sword in real combat. The length is less than that of some Renaissance swords, and the width and weight are not entirely unreasonable either. So the next time you see a video game character using a seemingly impossible weapon, don't be so quick to judge. And as always, Thanks for watching. Do you need even more video game related videos? Come to my own personal YouTube channel at Clan of the Grey Wolf. I've got reviews, retrospectives, explanations of video game tech. Yeah, come on over, we'll have a ton of fun.